This is Scooty. He's a Californian two-spotted octopus, and he lives at the University of Chicago. Like the rest of his kind, Scooty is a colour-changing, shape-shifting, super-smart, poly-limbed polymath. Now, scientists have sequenced the octopus genome on the search for clues to his brilliance. The octopus genome is much bigger than that of its cousins, like oysters or clams. It had been thought that this was because of a duplication in the past, essentially doubling up their entire genome. We know this has happened in many other large genomed groups, like mammals or fish. But after sequencing, scientists found no evidence of genome duplication at all. In fact, the octopus genome is broadly similar to many of its invertebrate cousins, except, that is, for a massive expansion in two particular gene families, previously thought to only be expanded in vertebrates. But how do these genes set Scooty apart from a clam? The first expanded gene family codes for a type of cell adhesion protein called protocadherins, vital in neuronal development. Scooty has around half a billion neurons throughout his body, five times more than a mouse. This network of neurons makes him about as smart as a dog and lets him learn and remember complicated tasks, like unscrewing this jar to reach the tasty crab inside. Not bad for a glorified clam. The second gene family codes for a type of protein called C2H2 zinc finger transcription factors. It's a complicated name, but the point is that hundreds of these transcription factors were unique to the octopus and they were selectively expressed in the kinds of tissues that make the octopus special. Things like their suckers, their neural tissue, and their skin laden with colour-changing cells. It appears that developments in these genes could have been critical to the evolution of the octopus's incredible powers of camouflage, deception, and dexterity. It is surprising that the expansion of just two gene families could potentially have led to such sophisticated intelligence and morphology, but then again, Scooty and octopuses in general have never really been fans of convention. <laughs>